Today, we are going to do the second chapter of Political Science of Class 12, that is Nation and State. Now, what is nationality? Nationality means belonging to the same race, to be related by birth or to have a blood relationship. But uh, nowadays, there is not a single nation where people belong to the same race. In fact, every nation has people uh, consisting of uh, different racial backgrounds. This is due to the intercaste or interracial marriages. According to J.W. Garner, nationality is a culturally homogeneous group that is at once conscious of its unity. Now, culturally homogeneous means uh, belonging to the same culture. Homogeneous means which is same throughout. So, uh, the group of people which follow the same culture and are united, so they form a nationality. Now, let us understand the difference between a nation and nationality. Now, nationality is a psychological term. Uh, people be belonging to the same place, uh, they have, they share the uh, a common religion, they share the same customs and traditions and uh, because of which they feel united, because they feel that they have something in common, right? So, uh, this is a sentimental thing. So, nationality is sentimental. Uh, but nation, on the other hand, is when people are organized, when people are united, then a nation is formed. Right, So, nation gives an idea of an organization, while nationality gives an idea of sentiment. The second difference is, nationality is basically a cultural term, while nation is basically a political term. The third is, a state may have many nationalities, that is the people belonging to different nationalities may be living in a state. The fourth difference is nationality precedes nation. That is, nationality comes first and then comes nation. For example, the Jewish nationality created the Jewish nation. Now, let us see the elements of nationality. The first is common geography. Now, geography means uh, a place, a region, an area. So, the people living in a common territory, that is, uh, they belong to the same place. Uh, like, for example, uh, the people of India are called Indians. Their nationality is Indian. The people of Denmark are called Danes. Uh, people of France are called French. So, this is the nationality of the people, yeah, because they belong to the same, they have a common geography. The second element is common race. Now, as uh, read earlier, uh, no race is pure. There is no purity of race due to the intercaste and interracial marriages. Uh, but still, uh, people having common language, common traditions and common culture, they believe themselves to belong to the same race. The third element of nationality is a common language. Now, generally, people belonging to the same nationality have a common language, uh, like the uh, people of France have a French, the people of Spain has Spanish. Uh, but there are many uh, nations which are bilingual or multilingual, like for example, in India itself, uh, there are many languages spoken. Though we have uh, Hindi as our uh, uh, national language, but... Uh, uh, if you see in different regions, different regional languages are also, uh, are also spoken. So, it's a multilingual nation. So, this is not a very necessary factor, but this is also one of the element of, elements of uh, nationality. The fourth element which constitutes nationality is a common religion. Uh, now, a common religion brings about a national feeling, a closeness. So, this also constitutes to uh, nationality but it's not a very uh, important factor uh, 
then the fifth element is a common political framework people living within a boundary uh, they follow the rules uh, and regulations uh, set up by a common political uh, framework so they have this uh, connection so that is why they all uh, belong to the same nationality uh, the sixth element is the economic factor uh, which constitutes nationality now the economic activities bring people closer the marxist also believed that nationality uh, was due to the economic factors uh, so the uh, economic factor is an important element of nationality the next element is common subjugation now subjugation means to dominate someone or to bring someone under control so when um, a country dominated another country the people of the ones who were dominated uh, they had a feeling of nationality right for example in india also when there was colonial rule so the feeling of nationality rose in all the indians the next element which develops nationality is a common political aspiration uh, when people they have um, a common uh, will or they want something in common want something is common means that they want to uh, belong to a single nation uh, so then a feeling of nationality is developed for example the poles uh, poles are the people who belong to poland uh, they did not have any nation uh, for themselves so uh, before 1919 they were not given any nation to stay uh, but in 1919 uh, after the first world war uh, they were granted poland as a separate nation for them <clears throat> so a common uh, a will to have a nation for themselves uh, also develops a feeling of nationality all these elements are not very important factors uh, to constitute nationality uh, they just develop sentimental feelings uh, which lead to a feeling of nationality that is why in the beginning it was said that uh, nationality is 